Megan is in Chicago. Hi, Megan. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So, um, I am a newer listener, so forgive me for my ignorance. Um, it's okay. I am on Baby Step 2. We have our um, $1,000 savings, and we're currently working on our debt. We have about $34,000, um, and that includes our cars. We do not have a mortgage. We currently rent. Now, my question is, um, we're going to have this paid off within the next two years, maybe even a year. Right. Um, Now, we have a plan that we wanted to take our children um, into an RV for about two years and travel the country. Um, However, we would have to finance to get this RV and something to tow it with. We feel like time is of the essence since our kids are getting older, um, so we would not like to wait if possible, but I just wanted to see what your advice for something like this would be. Mm. It's a neat dream. I like having the dream. That's very cool. Very cool. Well, um, Megan, I don't tell people to borrow money because every time I find people borrowing money, I find broke people. Right. And um, and if you borrow on something that goes down in value as fast as an RV does, I'm going to find really broke people. Have you ever tried to sell a used RV? I've seen other people sell them. Almost impossible to get rid of them. Uh, They're hard to get financing on, and they go down in value faster than almost anything with wheels and motors. They are mathematically horrendous. Uh, They're just a mess. And so um, the other other one is a big, a medium-sized boat. If you get a $100 million boat, you can get financing on it. And if you get a cheap bass boat, you can get financing on it. But the middle range of boats, the 50 to 150,000, is a difficult product. And uh, so you just about have to have the money to just consume it and be able to afford it. So what I would tell you to do, what's your household income? Um, It's about 60,000. Okay. I would get myself out of debt. I'd work extra jobs. And then I would save up and pay cash for an RV that would um, that would suffice for the two year period of time. And then if you sell it at somewhat of a loss, at least you've got you don't have any debt on it and you don't get caught in it. It's not a problem. It doesn't ruin your life going forward, because if you take a wonderful dream like you have and you finance it, you're going to turn it into a nightmare. Right. It's going to cause a problem for your family, because, I mean, you put 100 grand in an RV. By the time you get home, it's worth 50. Right. And you're going to be stuck and owing all that money. And, you know, you're going to, you're going to mess up your kid's college plan. You're going to mess up your retirement. I mean, it, it could be disastrous if you do this wrong. And so what I'd do is save up and buy one or look for some, a program where you can rent one for two years. If you can do that for two years and just turn it back in. I doubt there is one. They're probably very, very expensive. I know you can rent them short-term for the weekend, and those aren't bad deals. But a two-year plan is different. Um And when you add all of this up, it might be that you guys could stay in your, you could could travel in your car um, or your SUV or whatever it is you own and stay in hotels cheaper by the time you add it all up. Because you're going to lose so much money on this transaction. And again, I'm not trying to ruin your dream. I just don't want your dream to be a nightmare. So do it with no debt. You do it used and, um, and do some mathematical analysis on it. And you got some nights to do that while you're working to get your other debts paid off right now. And then if you want to save up 50 grand and buy a three-year-old or a two-year-old hundred grand thing or something, and, and then it becomes worth 25 by the time you get home, I'm not going to be mad at you for that. That doesn't ruin your life. But if you, if you just go write a check and finance something, you're going to be in a mess, kiddo. And I don't want that for you. I want you to win. Hey, thanks for the call.